Hey everybody, Jake here, and we just reached our 1,000 subscriber milestone, and this guy thought it would be a smart idea to promise the viewers that if we ever reach that goal, I would personally open a $1,000 Pokemon mystery box on this channel. Oh boy, this is gonna end smoothly. A few moments later. So here it is, our $1,000 Pokemon mystery box. Shout out to Nirvana Games, my local game store, for putting this together. I asked them to build this for me, and as crazy as I probably sounded, they actually did it. I came back two days later, handed over a thousand dollar cash across the counter, and took this baby home. First impressions are that it's huge and heavy like a beach whale lord. This thing weighs a ton and is massive. There's an elite trainer box right there for size comparison. I knew it was going to be a big box, but I did not expect it to be this large. I can't hold back my excitement any longer, so let's get a thousand dollar cost counter on the video and see just how much value is inside. This is by far the most insane purchase I've ever done. I'm literally trembling with excitement about what's inside this box. I'm expecting a real mix of products inside of here, probably some booster boxes and pretty much just a lot of Pokemon cards considering how heavy this mystery box is. I can't wait any longer. We have to rip this baby open. Man, that's a lot of stuff in here. I don't even know where to begin. My eyes are just moving from one item to the next. We got elite trainer boxes in here, world championship decks, build and battle boxes, some really nice collection boxes, and oh, there we go, boys. Some mystery packages. I imagine these are gonna be the singles. That's what I'm really looking forward for. So let's start checking the value on everything inside of here. All right, I'm gonna roll up my sleeve and I say we start off with the easy ones first. We got ourselves the Score Bunny Galar Collection. I'm gonna put a $20 value on this box. We also have a Grookey Galar Collection, another easy 20 bucks. Then we got ourselves a Sobble Galar Collection, another $20 value, easy all day. The next thing I picked up is the Let's Play Pokemon trading card game dual decks. These are actually really cool featuring um, Pikachu and Eevee. They're really basic decks that teach you how to play Pokemon. Great for, you know, some younger trainers. Pretty decent gift. I'm gonna value this at about $15, but still really cool. I actually never purchased this, so I'm glad to have it in my collection. Next thing that caught my eyes were all the build and battle boxes inside here. They contain four packs each and a pre-made deck. They're great for a Friday night of deck drafting and gaming. Also, you get to pull a bunch of packs. So these are really cool products that come out with every new set release. And I think these are by far one of the most underrated products. If you were to pick something up, I would highly recommend these kind of products. These built and battle boxes retail for $20 each and we got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these for a total retail value of $160 in build and battle boxes. Okay, I can't really ignore that giant Charizard Lego figure staring right at me. So I'm gonna say we're gonna have to go right for it and get it out the way. We got ourselves a Hong Kong Magic Change Blocks Charizard buildable figure. It doesn't actually say that much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually assume that this is a knockoff and not an official Pokemon product because it doesn't look like something that Pokemon endorses. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything real crazy on the back either. Uh, I don't know what this thing is worth, there's a price sticker for $39.99, but I'm gonna value it at 30 bucks just to be extra conservative on its value. The next thing that caught my eyes were these 2019 World Championship decks. Stood right out to me. These are a really cool product and I think people are starting to catch on how amazing of a product this is. Prior year World Championship decks are starting to go through the roof and the 2019 one is already starting to 
get hard to get. So I'm really proud to own a couple more of these inside of my collection. These are great because you can play a competitive and fun Pokemon deck right out of the box without having to really blow your bank account because these only cost 20 bucks. If you were to build these decks by yourself, it would literally cost hundreds of dollars. And I don't really wanna play with expensive cards. It just kind of hurts me when I play with really expensive cards. So these are great middle ground that I can play powerful competitive decks without having to go crazy on my bank account. We got one, two, three, and four world championship decks. Each one is going for around 25 to $30, but together you could probably find all four for 80 bucks. So that's why I'm gonna value these at. Inside of our mystery box, we have smaller mystery boxes. So that's actually really interesting. I wanna know what inside these are. I imagine they might hold quite a bit of value. I'm expecting some hyper rare and secret rare cards. I see we have one, two, three, four of these. So mystery value for now. I'm gonna have to go through these individually later. Next one I'm gonna grab is this Alolan Sand Slash GX box. This is the last GX box that we're gonna see before we start getting into Sword and Shield. Oh boy, I did not purchase this one because Sword, of, Sword and Shield kind of took over my wallet, but I'm glad to have it because I do not have this uh, GX box inside of my collection. I see we got an XY Steam Siege back there, my favorite set. Of course, this box is currently valued at 20 bucks, easy retail. All right, we got some Sword and Shield Elite Trainer boxes back there. Really cool stuff. I just opened a couple of these on stream. These are really cool products. It seems a lot of people like the Elite Trainer boxes, and I think they're pretty decent too, to have a couple sealed up. Each one costs about $40 retail. Really nice to have inside of our collection. All right, I'm just gonna go for the next thing I see and grab it. We got ourselves a Pokemon Mini Binder. Contains um, it's just Pokemon singles. Open me, please. Oh, do I dare? Yes, I do. Of course, I want to see what's inside. Oh boy, those are some shiny GX cards. We got lots of hyper rares. Dark Arbox Mega Venusaur. Oh, Sylveon GX, Gardevoir GX, Ho-Oh EX. Oh my goodness, boys, we hit the jackpot. This is what I'm talking about. Just hyper rare promo cards, shinies. Oh God, what a beautiful binder. This would make anyone happy. Really cool stuff in here. We got Dark Ivy Source, Rocket Sneasel, Alakazam, Hitmonchan, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm gonna have to really go into the value of every one of these. Okay, I see a lot of other cool stuff, but I'm gonna grab this right here because it's a PSA graded card and I love myself some graded cards. Ooh, Mega Blast Toys EX PSA 9 from one of my favorite sets, Evolutions. That is a sweet card. Surprisingly, I never pulled this one. It is number 102 out of 108. That's a really nice glossy card. Pretty decent looking. I'm gonna have to display this one for sure. Next thing I'm gonna grab is going to be these encapsulated cards that I see back there. When you encapsulate a card, that means you really want to take care of it. So we got ourselves a Blastoise base set. Whoa, this is an old card from 1999 and it looks to be in pretty much mint condition. If this was a mint Blastoise, we're talking about some huge value here. These are the things that can be really hard to value inside of the mystery boxes, but I'm having an absolute field day. This is a really nice card. I'm gonna have to actually take it out of the case to really see what the value is, but I'm glad to have it. I'm almost speechless by some of the stuff inside of this box. Next up, Ancient Mew. Man, this thing brings me back. What a nostalgic card. I actually have a couple of these in my collection 
everyone likes Ancient Mew and wants to have at least a couple of copies in their collection. It's just a really cool card and you can see why. Look at that. Pokemon just has never done something like this before or again and this is one that is well worth encapsulating so that's a really cool card to have. Next thing up is Rocket's Mew 2. Winner's card, that's a really cool card. These are all amazing cards. Like talk about this amazing design and the psychedelic holographics, whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm so speechless by some of the quality inside of this mystery box. Guys, I'm almost out of breath, but we gotta keep pushing through this. I see some booster boxes back there. I wasn't sure if they were gonna be in the box, but I'm glad to see them. We got ourselves the brand new Sword and Shield booster box. Yes, I have not opened one of these on the channel yet. And this baby is gonna be a fun one to open. $100 value, easy all day. We also got ourselves a Unified Minds and a Cosmic Eclipse booster box. I still have a lot of cards missing from my collection from each of these. So I definitely really enjoy Unified Minds and Cosmic Eclipse is the largest Pokemon set ever. Glad to have both these booster boxes. I'm gonna really enjoy opening these two. Another $200 value. Next thing up, we have a Pokemon Sword and Shield Blister three pack featuring Morpeko as a promo card. So this is a $15 value easy. Next up, we got some Pokemon theme decks. These are actually really cool as well. I haven't picked up the Sword and Shield ones yet. So I'm gonna really enjoy opening up these. We got one, two, three, four, five of these inside of the box. I think these normally retail for $12 a piece. So that's gonna be about $60 inside of the mystery box. Also inside of our mystery box is a nine pocket portfolio for Pokemon cards. So that's really cool featuring the legendary bird trio. This was from Hidden Fates. I did not get a chance to pick this up. Oh, we got shiny Charizard on the back. Like I said, I did not get a chance to pick this up when Hidden Fates were selling out. So this is really cool to have. I'm gonna really enjoy this one. The artwork is great and it's pretty much timeless. So this is gonna work for pretty much any set. Last but not least, we have the Hidden Fates Premium Powers Collection featuring Rayquaza. So Galio and Lunala GX, I've opened this on my videos before. This is a really cool product and I really enjoyed it. So I'm glad to have a sealed one to keep inside of my collection. An easy $50 retail value. Okay, we're still not done yet. I still have to go over what's inside of these uh, little Pokemon mystery boxes that were also inside of our larger mystery box. And of course, we gotta go over the whole entire folio and see what all those hyper rare cards are worth. So let's crack this baby open and see what is inside. Oh, what is this? Legos, I do like myself some Lego products. So it looks like some kind of, is that chest bin? I think that's chest bin. So first box, we got ourselves some uh, Lego chest bin. Next one up is more Legos. I wonder if I could tell what Pokemon it is just by the colors of the box. I'm not too sure what this one is. So I think we're gonna have to open this up and see for ourselves. And there you have it. It's a Togepi. If you get to finish building that, it actually looks really good completed. So we got ourselves a Chespin, a Togepi box, and what's inside the other ones looks like some more Lego products. So really cool stuff, honestly. I don't have any of this. Uh, I wanna guess that each one of these Lego boxes are $10 each. So I'm gonna put these together and probably have them on display. Okay, let's go over this folio for sure and see how much our final total value tallies up to. We have ourselves a Secret Rare Gumshoes GX. I'm gonna imagine that all these cards are gem mint. I'm gonna have to check the back on that, but I'm pretty confident that none of these cards are even slightly played. We also have a Slazzle GX. We have ourselves a really nice Espeon 
GX from uh, looks like Sun and Moon base set. We got ourselves Necrozma GX from Burning Shadows. Really, really cool cards. Nice portfolio. Next up, we have Espeon GX, still as a fairy card. Espeon GX is from now on going to be a psychic Pokemon. So this is a card to look out for. Could really increase in value. Then we got ourselves a Primarina GX full art card, Sun and Moon promo number 39. Gardevoir GX, that's a really cool card. Wishy Washy GX. Mega Venusaur EX. Mega Amphros EX. Dark Arbok and Ho-Oh EX. The Dark Arbok is pretty interesting from Rocket Era. Man, that's a super old card to see inside of all these newer EX and GX cards, but I'm glad to have it. On to some more Mega Evolution Pokemon. We got Mega Scizor EX, Mega Houndoom EX, Mega Lucario EX. Now that's a cool card. I think a lot of people want this one. Mega Galalee EX, uh, Meloetta EX. There's the Mega Gardevoir EX. I think this card is really cool. I'm glad to see this one. I really, really enjoy it. Then we have ourselves the Mewtwo EX Full Art. Ooh, baby, that's a really cool looking card. And then we have Shining Ho-Oh from, ooh, Sun and Moon promo number 70. I do not have this in my promo collection. On the next page, we have, ooh, Oreo, Corio Pokemon League car. Another Oreo Corio from the Sun and Moon Guardian Rising promo. We also have a Shining Genesect and a Shining Volcanion. And then we have a Secret Rare Ho-Oh GX. Lycanroc GX have quite a few of those ones. A Mega Gallade EX. Mewtwo GX, I think that's from Hidden Fates maybe? Oh, no, 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 it's from Shining Legends. And then we have a uh, Full Art Kamoo GX. Arceus Full Art, oh man, that really brings me back. What a cool set of cards. We have Noivern GX, Decidui GX Full Art promo card. Already got that one, really enjoy it. And onto the last bit of cards, we also have Hitmonchan winner promo card. Really nice one. I really like these winner cards. They're not really something I collect, but I might start collecting them because now I have a small collection to really start it off with. We have Dark Ivysaur winner's card, Rocket Sneasel's winner's card, uh, Rocket Scizor's winner's card, and an Alakazam holographic from the original base set. And it looks to be in pretty much mint condition. So this little folio, oh no, we still have more. I didn't even see these. Oh yeah, nice. We have ourselves a Jungle Snorlax holographic rare, a Raichu holographic rare from the base set, a Pidgeot holographic rare from the jungle set, and a pre-release Misty's Cedra. Oh man, how am I supposed to value this whole entire folio? Do I go one thing at a time or all of it together? I say we do it one at a time and tally up our total value at the end. Okay everybody, that's our $1,000 mystery box. I'm absolutely blown away by all the collectibles on this table. What an amazing spread. This really couldn't have been done without the support of all of you. So thank you so much for supporting this channel. I'm going to have an absolute field day all day today, sleeving up all the amazing cars that we got in our mystery box. And stick around, you will not be disappointed because we shall open up all of these products in later videos to come. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.